Welcome to this video that explores my personal interaction with plastic during my business life here in my office. I had hoped that after my initial confession about my addiction to plastic, or as I described it at the time, a love-hate relationship, I had hoped that I could exemplify a plasticless office. Certainly it's a very clear demonstration this office is going plasticless. We prepare all of our hot drinks, teas, coffees and hot chocolates using reusable mugs and that all of our lunches and snacks are prepared on the premises without having to go to supermarkets and buy plastic clad sandwiches. Certainly the office equipment that we have, our computers, are very much uh, enclosed in metal bodies, particularly the Macintosh that we have, which is in an aluminium body, which certainly gets a high recyclability rating for its subsequent uh, reuse after it, the end of its life. The pen holders that we have on our desks or our waste paper basket, all those items are made of metal. The office also uses other plasticless items such as wooden rulers and pencils. When you look around the office you can see some further evidence of plastic items such as the durable items of the computer screen behind me and the laser printer. These items are going to be used in the office for a number of years and when it comes to the time to recycle them we will make sure that they are recycled in accordance with the waste electrical and electronic equipment regulations, the WE regulations, and that we will be looking for replacement items with a higher content of other materials. However, you can also see evidence of some plastic items such as some of our folders and binders Maybe we need to look a little bit more closely at some of those options. Some of the smaller items in the office, such as pens, are very much made of plastic with some metal components. So there's an opportunity to improve on our plasticless use of writing equipment. One item of plastic that I think almost all offices struggle with is the humble cartridge. Whether it's a laser cartridge like this one or an inkjet cartridge, they're made of plastic. They are used for several weeks or maybe several months. And then when they're finished with, these single-use items are then disposed of. We ensure that these cartridges are sent to a company that can re-engineer them, fill them with fresh toner so that they can be used for a second or subsequent time. So... In conclusion, I think many of us are going to be struggling to be able to make our offices go totally plasticless in the light of some of the durable items that I've mentioned in this video and also the uh, toner cartridges, which are the most prevalent single-use items in an office nowadays. And it'll be interesting to see whether manufacturers can be innovative in finding new materials to replace the plastic content of those toner cartridges and maybe I wouldn't want to make the office totally plasticless otherwise this little Lego chap here wouldn't have a home so let's make sure there's at least a small part of the office that is not totally plasticless. If you've been inspired by this video to go plasticless why not try these great action points?